Are you looking for an affordable yet high quality wireless microphone? Yeah? Well, let's take a look at the Full Aim X5 and see how it works. Today, I'm out here on location. I'm at a place called Eagle's Nest, and it's a, it's just a rock quarry on the side of the road here, and there's a little pull-off big enough for one car, and I've got my truck filling it up currently. All of that's not really important. What's important is what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to do an equipment review. A quick note about equipment reviews. I get a good many emails and I've stopped taking in equipment from people that are send, wanting to send me stuff that really doesn't either apply to me and my lifestyle or my channel or you guys. But this, this did, this appealed to me. And the main reason it is because of the audio recorder I use. I use this little Zoom F2 to record my audio off camera. That way I can go way back here and you can still hear me, even though I'm out of focus, but you can still hear me. <laughs> Point is, is I can move away from the camera. All right, well, this is a wireless, uh, I don't know if it's Bluetooth yet. I haven't opened the box yet. As you can see, it's still packaged. I was just gonna do that on camera with you guys. But it came in the mail the other day and they basically told me do whatever I want. They gave it to me, it was free to me. It's a review sample, if that makes sense. They're pretty confident it's gonna work. So let's get it out of the box and see what we got here, because I'm curious to see. I haven't, like I said, I ain't opened it yet. It came in the other day and I've been trying to put it together. Don't let me forget that. Let's see, oh, it's in a really nice box. It gives me high hopes. How's the box, it says open. <laughs> Let's see, oh wow, this is like an iPhone box almost. You got a big fat document pack, that's kind of cool. Uh, this is probably a charger, if I had to guess. That's what it kind of looks like. So you can charge up the body. Let's see, what's in here? Oh wow, this is pretty fancy. The base looks like it's charged. It's got a USB adapter, like a USB-C adapter. I bet that's so you can hook it to the camera. There's the little wireless mic. There's two of them in here with two of these little pass-through widgets. I'll have to read what these are because I, I honestly don't know what they are, but they give you one for each one. And then you got the receiver. I'm assuming this is the receiver. Yeah, because it, it's seeing both devices. Oh, it's picking up audio, they're on. Wow, it's got a little meters on it shows that it's actually receiving information one two three yeah it's kind of neat i've got a lot of reading to do but yeah this thing comes in its own little charging case but i was i just wanted to start the video by opening it on camera so you can see but it's made by a company called full aim or full aim full aim f-u-l-a-i-m and in my pronunciation it'd be full aim and it's known as the model x5 and it is two wireless mics and a receiver so let's get into this. And what I'm doing is I'm wearing one of the little mics with the little windy thing, and I have the receiver on the camera. This time I have the actual supplied cable to connect the receiver to the camera with, which is only about this long. The one I was using before was an old auxiliary cable that I had in the truck to hook iPods to a car stereo. Me and Aaron looked at it together and began to think the cable's bad information into one receiver and recording it as hopefully this test will come out like it should so here we go i got the mic i'm gonna just walk down the driveway some this is a good piece from the camera i'm a solid 30 feet away now you know i've got the 28 mil on the camera we'll walk down here some i'll go down to this oak tree we'll see what it looks like then I'm pretty sure with my body being in the way that you're going to get some noise that it's kind of a line of sight sort of thing. So like right here, this would be about the maximum extent I would ever venture away from the camera and record the footage. Eh, I'm probably 30, 40 yards. I'm, I'm an easy 100 feet away. On their website, they say this thing's rated for like 600 feet. That's 200 yards. I'm gonna give it points based on reasonable usage. There are so many little bugs here today. You know, I was a good 30 yards away, 25, 30 yards away, and that's plenty. I don't think I will ever be that far away or further and recording to a camera like this. 
what I've done is I've switched out the 28 that I was using earlier for a 135 and I focused it all the way down at the creek on the gate. Now, what I'll do is I'll talk to you as I move away with the mic blocked with my body and see what the radio connectivity sounds like. Oh, there's the tree I was at earlier with the 28 mil. Now, I'll count paces as I walk back and we'll see what it sounds like. But for right now, I'm pretty much about 75 yards from the camera will be in view again. And let's see. I really hope the dog didn't knock it over. But I think I see it from here. I think I see the shoulder strap of the SL2 because I didn't take it off this time. But yeah, I'm all the way down here at the gate. As you can see, I am using nothing special. I've just got the little wireless mic on my lapel where I had it earlier and the receiver's still on the camera. Now, what I want to do is when I walk back, I'm going to walk straight to the camera and without something blocking it, we'll see how well it maintains. So this is the first time I've ever actually had a wireless mic that connected directly to the camera that gives me the ability to record in camera audio so you don't have to sync it in post. That's the beautiful thing about a um, microphone like this is that it allows you to escape the bonds of a traditional uh, shotgun mic mounted to the camera. The shotgun mic, although high fidelity, is limited range. It can only see just so far from the uh, from the camera. This is a test to test both microphones for fidelity and to see if one sounds better than the other and to see if it's worth it to add the wireless mic to the camera and pop it into the camera's audio processing circuits or to record it through the Zoom F2 audio processing circuit straight to a card and then import that audio into Resolve to edit with and see if you get different fidelities. That gives you an idea of the audio fidelity of each microphone. On the screen, it'll populate X5 or F2. Zoom F2, full aim X5, simple enough. That way you'll know which audio you're listening to as this clip plays, because I'm switching back and forth so you can tell the difference. These are kind of nice because they're not required to talk to the receiver to record audio. They've built it into the mic. It's an extra function. So currently I'm using this boom mic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this on by holding down the power button until this blue light comes on. Okay, now that I have the power light on, I'm going to hold down this little yellow button, which is the setting button, for two seconds, and you're going to see it start to record. Now that it's recording, I'm going to compress this and move it out of the way. And I'm just going to talk to you with this mic instead. This mic, which would normally be on my shirt pocket right there, would be able to be used in case, say, I'm using a camera that doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter port on it that I can't jack it, the audio straight into. Or, you know, maybe I'm somewhere where I want to capture like wild sounds, you know, for foley work and you just want to record water running or traffic in a city or whatever, that's what this is good for. And it's kind of nice. You don't have to pop it into the camera and record video. You can just capture audio with them. That's really nice. Let's see what they sound like now. To download them, you just long press that button for two seconds again and it stops. To download them, there's no card. It's got four gig of internal mics over there. Back to this, sorry about that. Something else I need to bring up was there's four gigabytes of internal memory inside of each of the microphones and you download them through the USB-C port on the side. You can't remove the memory card. It's built into it. So that's, that's a, a little fun fact. To give you my synopsis of this wireless microphone system, personally, it's a winner. I went into this with, with very low expectations. Typically when I get these kind of products from the smaller companies trying to break into a, a market like these, normally there's some kind of like gross problem with the device somewhere. I didn't find it with these. 
The only thing that I can find to complain about with these mics is there's no way to store all of the extra little widgets that comes with them, such as the wind must and the cabling and things, other than I just got a one gallon Ziploc bag that I store everything in. Now, it does have a proprietary like quick attach bayonet on the wind muff. And I'm going to speculate that everybody that makes these probably uses that same connection. So that maybe you can actually get some more of these if you lose it. But other than that, they got like significant runtime. I don't remember the total number of hours they'll run on a charge, but it's lengthy. And the case will charge them up all three devices from dead two full times. So if you were to charge up the radios and the case before you started, you got three full charges. Some That's some kind of crazy, like 27 hours of use. That's ludicrous. And the audio fidelity is wonderful. I, like I said, I went into this expecting that there would be something terrible that I was gonna have to bring up in this video. I can't find it. They just work. I'm filming on my Leica SL2 right now with the with this mic plugged straight into it. You know, this one's turned off so it won't make the audio go nuts. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer. Appreciate you watching. If you haven't done it yet, like and subscribe. You know, I would like the like the, and if you would leave a comment. Comments are very important. So until next time, get your camera out and go take a picture with it. All right, we'll see you later. Bye bye.